You guys hear this? Yeah. All right. I can't believe it's our. Hey, you're recording, right? I'm recording. <laughs> Extraterritoriality. So it turns out that Ambassador Alba was the culprit, the mastermind behind everything. But we can't put him on trial, and we can't really get to him because he's, you know, he's an ambassador, and we're we're not on like we're on foreign soil. We're in we're in an embassy. Yes, and there is nothing we can really do about that. In the end, it doesn't really matter. We didn't have to. We didn't have enough authority to bring him to justice. I can't believe that even though we know he's the boss, we can't lay a finger on him. I know. I think this is your character symbol, right? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Sorry to skip out on you, but I've got some business to take care of. There we go. Nice guy. <laughs> if we can't even give an evil guy like him a slap on the wrist, then what the heck were the laws created for? What good are they? If the law can't help us, then I'll go as Yara Garas to go and take care of this myself. Uh, 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 oh, don't oh. you dare. Yes, that's what. Sorry, that was a bit too harsh. I know how you feel, sir. We are trying to take on an ambassador after all. And he did tell us earlier to get out of the theater. This is kind of their country, I guess. But I feel like I've been slapped across the face for just doing my job. What am I going to do? Should I retreat for now and formulate a better plan? Or attack? Come on, everyone. We can't give up yet. Okay. I want you to think about something for a sec. Okay. <clears throat> We've never let up for even a second, and as long as we don't stop investigating, we might find the rotten treasure hidden here. She's right. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. You're right, Kay. Very well. Let us reopen the investigation and see what we find. Come on, Kay. Right behind you. Okay, then I'll go check out Papa a bit more, sir. We. Do, do I still have to take Franziska? Yeah, I think she's gonna leave. Fine. Okay. Ah! And I have something I need to investigate further in Alabast. <laughs> there you go. Bye bye. They're all gone. Sounds that good though. <laughs> I thought we were going to turn around and Kate was going to be gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like they all disappear. Now then, before I gather any more information, I should do a bit of housekeeping. He's got rid of the passion flowers. Yeah, this, this guy... Man. Ambassador Alba seemed agitated over something. I wonder why. There are two special circumstances that, is, that surround the ambassador. First, the embassy itself has extra ter extraterritorial rights. If something happens on Alabastian soil, we are unable to legally prosecute him. Oh, it sounds like embassies are the perfect place to steal whatever you want. And murder Damascus the second, run a smuggling operation, and make counterfeit bills apparently. But I thought all the counterfeiting was done by Mr. Cochin and Babal. Yes, he apparently used the embassy's coupon printing press to do it. I like how there's even like dollar bills in that in, in that icon. <laughs> but it's the same story over there anyway. Babao also has extraterritorial rights. Which brings me to my next point. The ambassadors to extraterritorial rights. Those rights are effective even in our own country. <gasps> really? No matter what happens, he can never be tried in our courts. He retains some very special rights, indeed. Basically, no matter what wrongs he may commit, we can't bring him to trial here. So I guess we really don't stand a chance, do we? Hmm. We might stand a chance if we can somehow nullify either one of his special rights. Which we will do. Just not sure how. What do we go? What do we, what do we have to do? Logic. Hmm. Okay. Logic! 
constipation sounds. Constip- no, it's called thinking <laughs> sounds. The constipation of the brain. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Probably this. No, he, he was definitely agitated by the renovations. <laughs> Rah, renovations! <laughs> what? Hmm, the pieces don't fit together quite right. Wait, what did you do? I combined this and this. What? Okay, hear me out. The renovations were used to disguise this. That makes sense. You know, that was a cover-up. It's like so that they would so that nobody would enter the room. It's either that or Alba was just really agitated by the renovations. Okay. God damn renovations! Ah. Ah. Old man yells at Cloud. <laughs> Old man yells at renovations. <laughs> we know that the counterfeit bills were printed using the embassy's press. But the necessary materials, such as the Babali's ink and paper, must have been hidden in a secure location. But what do you think would have happened if the renovation had begun? Well, he probably had to find a better hiding place, or get rid of it all. Right, so we can assume that the renovation was the cause of the plate in Bill's disposal, and the reason Mr. Kuchiman was killed as the ringleader of the smuggling operation. Based on what, based on what we know, who do you think was the one <laughs> with the most to gain? Uh, this guy. Is... No, no, Helena. Because he's the one with all the coupons, isn't he? No, wait, no, wait. The counterfeiting. Counterfeiting. Who was the most to gain from burning all the counterfeit bills? Oh, wait. Well, if anything, that just kind of throws the police off of Alba's track. You know, Kuchiman would eventually be found out, but like, everything would point towards him, not Alba. It's true. Ah, fuck it. We have a little bit of health. Health. Maybe like a dollop of health? Yeah, a dollop of health. <laughs> it's the one person who has been erasing all evidence of the smuggling operation from both embassies. The co-conspirator who was mopping up Ambassador Alba. Ambassador Alba had a very strong motive to kill Manny Coach Kojiman. Coach what? Kojiman. Your mic's going funny. What? No, it's not. Hello? Yeah, your mic went weird there. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. The cause of Ambassador Alba's agitation, the rotten treasure we may find, and the motive for killing Mr. Kulchen. Miss Yu said it herself that she didn't kill anyone tonight. If we were to take her words at face value, then the reason for the ambassador's nervousness can only be one thing. He didn't want us to discover the real circumstances under which Mr. Cochin was killed. You mean Ambassador Alba is the real killer? But I thought the two of them were friends. <laughs> Maybe they were. But what if Mr. Cochin was, was the one who, be who first betrayed that friendship? Oh, I get it. Wasn't Mr. Cochin pushing really hard for Mr. Polano to be ambassador after the reunification? Yes, and that was the real reason why he wanted to steal Alabast's Primidoc statue. So Mr. Cochin hired the Mask the Second to go steal it for him. But when Ambassador Alba found out what he was up to, he killed Mr. Cochin? It is definitely a possibility at this point. Those two really were thinking of no one but themselves. But the question now is, how did he do it? Ambassador Alba was in Alabast. But Mr. Cochin's body was discovered in Babal, right? Right, and that is what we must solve next. Okay. <laughs> and we, we, we investigate that by going here? No. Other way. Look at the uh, the picture. What picture? In the background. Oh. No, I mean like in the yeah. This right thing. There. This was taken just before the two ambassadors gave the bouquets to the steel samurai. Wait. 
Is it just my imagination, or is there something in this picture that I've seen before? I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking looking friend. Eh? Eh? I don't know. Infusion. One of the flowers, maybe. The passion flower, the passion which we flower. erased from the organizer. What does the passion flower look like? No, he threw it away. Remember? Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> we threw it away. We threw away the evidence. Okay. This thing here? No. Fine, let's just examine something. It appears to be a bouquet of Persian cyclamen and roses. Wow, you even know the exact species? I never would have figured you for an expert on flowers. Yeah. It's all because of those flowers that old lady sends me every month. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, old bag. Just look at me. I sound like some sort of botanist. So, um, what exactly is this yellow flower here? Hmm, that one. I'm not sure. What? You don't know? As far as I can recall, I've never seen a flower like this before. But I feel as though I've seen this shape somewhere before. Let's deduce it. <laughs> okay. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I heard? Oh, it looks like my prosecutor's badge. <laughs> yes, that, that, that's it for sure. Well, it kind of looks like the flag of Alabast. Could that be it? No. There. That guitar pick thing is part of the flower. Wait. What? I, I can see what you mean, like the petals, but... Is that it you? looks like it would be the fifth petal, doesn't it? Yeah, there is a bit of a... So, there is something missing there. And it's wet. There's it something the a little better than the uh, guitar pick. Really? What? I yes. think it's the guitar pick. <laughs> Wait, he says it. He said it, but there's something better than a guitar pick, apparently. Yeah. It's the wieners. Yeah, it's the wieners. <laughs> so we're on the right line of thinking, I guess. Look at all the evidence a little more carefully. Oh, Go back to the murder knife. The murder knife. Well, technically they're both murder knives, but... Is it good? Look at the flower on it. A what? At <gasps> the end of it. Oh! Oh, snap. Oh, snappers. Wait, just to make sure. Yup. 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 Oh my god. Who's your girl? <laughs> good job. <laughs> Sha would be proud. Oh my god, yes she would! <laughs> what is this? Abao's national symbol is the butterfly, and Alabast is the flower. It would appear that someone is employing the old hide-a-tree-in-the-forest trick. What are you mumbling to yourself about? Wait, what? The handle on this knife? <laughs> it's funny that Kay is the one surprised him. She's the one who, and Bell's the one who figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the handle that was used, that was supposed to be on the blade that killed Mr. Cochin. The weapon that killed him was carried throughout the through the Theatrum Neutralis in the very bouquet Ambassador Alba was carrying. Mm. Uh, hmm? So he had motive. He had means of transporting the weapon. Yes, he did. Oh, he needs the opportunity. <laughs> yes, we are. It looks like one of the flower petals is missing. Ooh, and take a look at the weapon itself. It's missing the exact same petal. 
then the knife in this photo is most definitely the same as this murder weapon. I believe we now understand why Ambassador Alma was so nervous and agitated. It must have been something to do with where Mr. Cochin was killed, a place where the Alabastian Ambassador was likely to meet the Babelese Mr. Cochin. The place where Ambassador Alba happened to have committed the murder is... That tiny sliver between the embassies. Yes, the wall. <laughs> <laughs> they say they 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 uh fit themselves to this tiny space and they're like, haha, stab. Um, Jesus Christ. What? Sorry, haha, <laughs> stab. Haha, <laughs> stab. Shank. <laughs> Stealth stabbing. Well, let's consider that they probably watched the show together. I don't know. Maybe he committed it backstage. Hmm. Because this guy never went here. He only stayed here and went in here. So I think it must have been done in the theater. Just somewhere we haven't explored. So was the weird crossbow thing what was in the photo? Oh yeah, that, that's what it was. So it's like, um, if you can uh, see my cursor. Crossbow was, was fired from here, down to the room down here. And then they made like a zip line to transfer like the statues to like swap them. Uh, and that's why the they, photo they shows. Used, they used the ceiling fan as well. They used yeah, the they used the fan. ceiling fan as like a pulley. They, they, there, was a, there was this entire 10 minute segment explaining the Big physics brain. of how it could have worked. It's like, oh, but this is too heavy. No, but you see, it's lightweight. Something like that. Anyway. Oh, because it's hollow. It's hollow, yes. Exactly. Wow. So, anyway, do we pick this? Uh... Yeah, go for it. Okay. Take that! Take that. <laughs> the only... I, I know... Every time Julio says go for it, he, he's actually saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like, you like, you like uh, hover around it too much. Yeah, I know. The only place that makes sense here at the Theatrum is here. At the Theatrum Neutralis. What? Here? The Goodwill event was being held here today, correct? So the only place that both of them would have been he would have been in is here. But if that's the case, then everything changes. This theater isn't actually Alabastian land. So that wipes out one of those extra to <laughs> <laughs> So that wipes out one of those extraterritorial rights he has. It makes logical sense, in which case, it is a reason for us to investigate further. So what should we check out? Let's see. I believe we should check the immigration records for both Alabaster and Babal post-haste. Babal's records should be easy to obtain. However, the problem will be Alabast. I wonder if they would allow us to see their records despite the order to vacate. Objection! Objection! Oh. God. What is that? <laughs> I'm oh, someone else should take this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, please, someone. Someone take Shaw's love. Mm, how does she voice her? Ziska, my beloved. Anyone? <laughs> Any offers? Any uh, volunteers? Going once. <laughs> Going twice. Mm. Alright, you take her then, Daniel. <laughs> oh god. I'm already one step ahead of you, Miles Edgeworth. Franziska. I have here the security footage from both Alabaster and Babal. You would do well to take a look at its contents. Okay. I can take her. Yeah, please do. You're just talking to yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two it's like okay, you have low pitched Edgeworth and high pitched Edgeworth. <laughs> Basically. It's like when I had to voice Sheena and Kay. I remember that. It's my line. You move fast. Avant Karma strives to be perfect in every way. It's not in my nature to keep on retreating like this. I took the liberty of looking over the Babal investigation reports as well. From now on. You'll make no excuse to back down or say that we can't solve this case. Yeah, I'm sorry about earlier. We won't be beaten. 
because my cute little subordinate is going to try his very best, isn't he? Uh, we won't be beaten, but you will surely beat me with that whip. Hasn't you patronized me enough already for a lifetime? So this video contains footage from Alabast's immigration screening area. I really hope there's something in here that we can use. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop motion. This frame rate is ass. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the time frame. It's one frame per minute. Jesus. <laughs> Portable camera. Yeah. Oh, man. Wait, so... 22 was the one with, uh... What's his face? Alba, wasn't it? The old yeah. man. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. The old man. Stefano. The what? Stefano. Stefano. Who's Stefano? He's, uh, he's golden. He's golden. And he looks like that guy. <laughs> Stefano. <laughs> the old guy. Huh? Okay. Let's see if I can find him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this, this guy does look like your typical bad guy old man anyway. So I'm sure <laughs> a bunch of characters resemble him. Anyway. I don't know, there's much that I, there's not much I can see here. Obviously that's Alva. Let's just take a look at each of these. See if we can find any difference. There's nothing here. I know, but it's like it's like the it's like the control variable. Thank you, know? you Captain. Oh jeez. There's something beneath the iron infant. There is. Doesn't uh, something about like this right? lump shake strike you as odd? Huh? Old? Isn't it supposed to be the shape? No, there is clearly something odd about the bone. If only we had the cash <laughs> card itself, we could compare and confirm my hunch. Yeah, he's very eager to investigate that bulge, isn't he? Next, let us check the footage from Babao's security camp. I hope it shows us something good. Like that bulge. <laughs> okay. Wow, this frame rate sucks. <laughs> you wait, there wasn't a single sign of a suspicious person or anything. That right there is the contradiction. Huh? Did I miss something? Oh, no, an entire chapter, yes. You didn't miss anything because there was nothing to miss. However, what is missing is the image of Mr. Cochin entering his own country. But wasn't his body found in Babal? It would appear that the true face of our final puzzle has finally revealed itself. Investigation complete. My health! That was fast. I'm healthy again. Are you doing Oh snap. Where's all the other characters? Oh, there he is! It's an army! Oh no! Oh, I have six people. Ambassador Alba! <laughs> Alright, simple. Why don't you take him? I don't want to take him anymore. Alright. I thought I had asked you for you and your group to vacate the premises, Mr. Edgeworth. Actually, I thought I should let you know that this theater sits on my country's soil. You've had your fun, and I've enjoyed our little game. I dare oh, say wall. that you've even achieved a new high score. It's a very fitting voice. Breaking the fourth wall! <laughs> However, once you've recorded a score, that same gay can, can never be replayed again. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Your game is done and it's game over. No. Where do you think you're going at this time of night? After admitting to my crime, I was overcome with regret. Oh, yeah. So, I am heading to the airport now to return home. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. There are still too many issues we need to discuss with you. 
You can't stop me, Edgeworth. And you know it. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Please, may I have a little bit of your time, Ambassador Alba? He's voicing both ambassadors, I just realized it. <laughs> Ambassador Polino. Even just a teeny, tiny bit is fine with me. There's already strained relationship between our countries in a precarious situation, you know. Very well, if you insist. I will play just one more round with them and see what they want. Not that they'll get any farther. Ambassador Paleno. Mr. Edgeworth? All I wish is for the normalization of relationships between our two countries. But there is one person standing in the way of that dream. I... I believe in you. You'll do what's right. Thank you for your vote of confidence. Ooh. Now then, what was it you wanted to ask me about? I do have a flight to catch after all. So, I'm afraid I'm going to have to limit you to just one question. That's more than enough, because I only have one question anyway. If you have one question and he asks for one, that's not more than enough, Edgeworth. That's enough. I'm in math. Taught to you in grade school. Yes. At most. <laughs> yes. This guy didn't go to grade school. I want to I want to I want to hear your alibi about how you couldn't have killed Mr. Manny Coachin. Oh, I see. You seem to have a good hand this time around. This should be fun. This really is the very last chance we have to bring him down. I won't allow even an atom-sized contradiction to slip by. Make sure you don't split it. Otherwise, <laughs> everyone will die. But an electron-sized contradiction. I still don't understand why I'm being placed under suspicion here. Under your hypothetical scenario, Mr. Cochin and I were fellow smugglers. But to get to the point, I was in Alabas the whole time. So it's simply not possible for me to have killed him in Babal. This is my alibi. So that is your alibi. That is correct. It's simply not possible for me to have committed a crime in Babal. Now that we're cleared that now that we've cleared that up, I'd appreciate it if you would move out of my way. Hold it. I said hold it. That's what I just said. Hold it. <laughs> what is it this time? I thought I told you I'd only allow one question. <laughs> you did. But you still have yet to really answer my one question. What? Until you tell us the truth, I will refuse to budge an inch from where I'm standing. Hmm. Very well. I'll play with you just a little longer. Miles Edgeworth is my subordinate and representative of this country's prosecutors. You are forbidden to lose! Of course. That is something I've understood from the start. That guy's the one who ordered my father killed, isn't he? Yes, I believe so. The goal of the first Yadagarasu was the capture of the smuggling ring's leader. My father and Uncle Bad. Their legacy will live on through me so that's why we've just got to catch him okay we will i promise now ambassador alba let's have that the truth now shall we <laughs> no matter how many times you ask my answer remains the same all right 
Frankly, I still don't understand why I'm being okay, placed under suspicion here. There's, 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 there's no need to read it a second time. I gotta do the first one at least. Okay. Press this one, Daniel. Press this one. Press this one? Press this one. Okay. Hold it. It's not a hypothesis. Earlier, we proved it to be what happened. <laughs> well, let's leave that to one side for now. Because it doesn't change the fact that I have no motive. Oh, so you really had no reason to kill Mr. Cochin? If you want to suppose I had one, then why not? I'll indulge you. After all, this is nothing more than a silly game to me. Even if that's how you see things, I'd appreciate it if you would take me seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. I suppose you are in a bit of a pickle. Very well. A game is no fun if pl the playing field isn't level. Therefore, I formally claim that I had no motive to kill. Now, let's see you disprove it. How can he stand there looking proud when he knows he killed another human being? Well, I'm not going to stand by and just watch him get away with his crimes. <laughs>